Now on to World of Warcraft, right? And World of Warcraft as a virtual experience, as a piece of virtual reality. What has it got going for it? Well, it's, we're back in this one to uh, seeing and hearing, right? It's got hearing really well and it's got seeing really well. Um, and the seeing now is reading as well as listening to voices, right? So you text people and there's lots of things to read. And so there's, there is reading and hearing and, and hearing language and also hearing sounds, right? So all that stuff is coming in. It's, good, it's got a very good, rich sound environment. Um, and, you, and you see text as well as being able to see people and, you know, and interact that way. But, you know, of all the things that it could have, it really only still has those big ones, the sight and the hearing. Um, output, uh, output fidelity, well, you speak with high fidelity and you write with high fidelity, but the rest of them are low. And particularly, I've, I've mentioned this before, particularly moving around, right, which is a big behavior. You do get to move around, but you don't move around with very much um, fidelity. So you're moving around is an effective thing to do, right? You, you can actually move in the environment and when you move, things happen. And interestingly, um, after a while, that doesn't really matter. So this is, a, this is another interesting point to take out of these virtual reality um, ideas is that does it really have to be high fidelity in order for it to work? Not really. And the longer you go with it, and I think, you'll, I think you'll agree, especially if you're a gamer, after a while, you actually do think you're walking, <laughs> right? You believe that you're walking, even though all you're doing is moving your fingers around, you kind of feel like you're walking. How is it that sign language and uh, vocal language, which are absolutely and totally different behaviors, can end up doing the same thing. It's because human beings can use more than one kind of behavior to get to a result. We have input fidelity um, on hearing and seeing, but none of the other ones are really represented. We have high output fidelity on speaking and writing. We have low output fidelity on movement, but we do have e efficacy in movement. We also, for the first time, have efficacy somewhere else, dress and accoutrement, right? Accoutrement means like having the sword strapped to your, to your belt, right? Isn't that what World of Warcraft is all about? You create a character and that character looks a certain way and that way the character looks has efficacy. It has an effect on the rest of the environment, specifically on the other players who see you. When they see you with that weapon, that has an impact on them. When they see you dressed in a certain way, that has an impact on them. So we've introduced that kind of efficacy, even though it's very low fidelity, you don't, you don't really dress that way. You don't actually uh, strap a sword on, but it's highly effective. So belief? Medium to high, I'd say. You know, you, you have to play for a while. You've got to get practice. But after that, you know, you, you, get to, you can get to this high degree of, of um, belief. And you can get a high degree of immersion, of feeling like you're really there. And, and, you know, if you have never seen somebody who's completely lost in a video game, then um, you ought to see it because they are lost. They are immersed. They're definitely immersed. But it takes a while. And it takes some stamina, actually, to get there. And you a lot of practice before you get there.